question though about just going back to one of my favorite TV shows, Dynasty. How did you get that role of uh, Lindsay Blaisdell? Um, uh, that was um, a recommendation. So I didn't audition for that. Mm. Um, I uh, my career <clears throat> started to cool down um, about fourteen, and um, I got a call that uh, I, they that had an offer. Um, but I had to go meet um, the producer. It, wh what it was was Ralph Sininsky, um was the director of mm -hmm. the pilot and um, was supposed to direct the first season. Yeah. And he was uh, famous for, um, he did a whole ton of the, um, of um, the um, uh, Waltons. And I mean, he's just, he'd been around forever. And he, he uh, hired me on, um, uh, Heidi, he was the director for Heidi, and he was also the director for uh, the How the West Was Won that mm -hmm. I did. You did? Oh, I think it might be. Can't be dead if you're talking. Well, if I'm alive, little lady, I reckon I got you to thank for it. And my ma. Look, I... Oh. Oh. Mm. I'm Nettie. Nettie, you come away from there. Oh, it's all right, ma'am. I, I was just thanking your daughter there for, for you all helping me. Who are you, mister? Uh, my name's Zeb McKeehan, ma'am. You're not from around here? No. No, I was on the river boat. Something went wrong. Next thing I knowed, I was in the water. I heard about that. Pirates taking over a paddle wheeler. Did you hear anything about any other passengers being hurt? No. It's enough, Nettie. Uh, the man I'm with, uh, don't take to strangers. You best be getting quit of here when you can. Don't mean to be no trouble to you, ma'am. Oh. Oh. Who's he? Oh, uh, Nettie found him on the riverbank. Here in a pouch. What? Money. You thick? I never looked. You two starved to death in a smokehouse. audition for the how the west was one either they just called for my availability and i was there and you know i was available and i did that um that was a two-hour special and so when he um was going to direct the first season they um they asked me if i you know was available of course i was cool and there was nothing going on so i um i had a meeting with esther and richard shapiro and with um with um uh, Ralph and that mm -hmm. you know we just talked about the role and it was like okay well you know well, it was a, just it was a meeting I didn't even read and uh and I got I got the role yeah. um and then um things got weird right before like right halfway into halfway through shooting the first season mm -hmm. um but before the pilot aired there was a problem with the time slot Mm. Uh, the prime time time slot that Esther and Richard Shapiro were after was already owned by, um, um, you know, I'm playing a blank on his name. Um, uh, help me, help me. Um, um, oh, oh, was he the talk show? No, 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 no. He was the, he'd done everything. Uh, Dick. Uh, spelling. 
Spelling <laughs> error. Yeah, Aaron spelling. <laughs> Tori spelling like our poor spelling. My God. Okay. <laughs> right in my brain. Um. So um, Aaron spelling owned the time slot, and he wanted to to be a producer on the show. So he was like, "You can have the time slot, but I get to be a producer on the show." And that's when everything changed. Um. A, Originally, it was supposed to be the Blaisdells versus the Carringtons. The Blaisdells were the the you know middle class family that was really trying to you know make good. And he, he was a you know, trying to to compete yeah. um, with the Carringtons, or at least you know start his own thing going on. Yeah. And um, the Carrington uh, uh, um, the Carringtons were supposed to be the evil rich people. Yeah. Well, this is the early '80s, and and um, and uh, the um, Spellings had a you know Spelling Productions had a different idea of where they wanted the show to go, and, and wasn't Dallas on at that time? It was Dallas, Dallas was on at that? So it was supposed to compete with Dallas. Yeah, okay. it was ABC. Yeah, and we were competing with Dallas, which is either NBC or CBS. I can't remember now, but it was. Um, yeah, so that's um, that's how that worked out. So that's how. Long story short, is that um, uh, um, um, Ralph Sinensky had worked with me on Heidi. Yeah. I'd worked with him on Heidi and worked with him on um, how the West was won, and he um, and he hired me for Dynasty. Oh, I love that. You know, I was. And Dallas popped into my mind, and then I, then I know that you work with Charlene Tilton. You, didn't you play? Yeah, sisters? I worked with Charlene Tilton on um, on Diary of a Teenage Hitchhiker. I can come down right now. Oh, thank you, sir. Bye. <laughs> Who is that, John Travolta? Better. That was Mr. Karpansky. I've got a job. <laughs> what should I wear? Oh, he wants me to come down right now. What was Roz wearing doing that? You want me to call McPhee? Would you kindly mind your own business, please? How are you going to get them? I'll manage. You're going to hitch. Look, I'm old enough to get them on my own, thank you. Dad won't like it. He's a million miles away. You're morally bankrupt. Besides, you said you weren't hitching anymore. Rich, there's a difference between just hitching and hitching when you have to. Well, that's the example you understand. Oh, Trish, give me a break. You'll see you're going to get so tired of having to depend on mommy and daddy or whoever to get wherever you want to go. Do I look all right? Terrible. Is this too tight? It'll get you a ride. Do me a favor, put the chicken in the oven. What number? 325. That's how you learn. There's so many things I don't have pictures of. Well, we're just going to have to get them. <laughs> you, know, you know what I want? What? Um, I thought you gave me one, but I don't have it. So okay. you mustn't. Um, I want that photo of you that's a black and white with a pink heart. <gasps> okay. I love that photo. I want that photo. I'll, I'll email it to you. On my wall here, I've got, I've got pictures of people that I, I've got pictures of people that I love, my sister uh, and other important thing, people to me. I've got pictures of my, I don't know if you can see it up there, of my manager. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. My my friend, Robin Kermse, who uh, was a very instrumental in me um, becoming a better person uh, when I was going through some hell. Mm. in the in the mid 90s um so you're one of the, the very important people in my life and i don't have a i don't have a proper picture of you i do have <laughs> i do have a picture of you in a french maid outfit i love that one when we were at bobby mcgee's and we switched we costumes bobby mcgee's we costumes for halloween they wouldn't let us do it i know i didn't get that you could come whatever you want you know come as whatever you want and so we did and then they said no you can't do that i was like <laughs> you can't cross dress what it's halloween and even if it wasn't <laughs> no 
they well, they wanted the character to stay consistent you know yeah whatever. i guess i don't know but i thank god that i met you and then we you know friends and then of course put the pool boy oh the pool boy directing the you know pool boy. Yeah. that 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 pool boy uh, i must have been really frust frustrated <laughs> <laughs> I was very sexually frustrated at the time, I guess. It's, well, uh, I was too, but. <laughs> um. Anyway, I relate now. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, my favorite, one of my favorite projects of all time is Hyde. Me too. In terms of, you know, it was a really, it was, it, that, that was quality work. I like that work. I feel I, good. You know, some things you do and you just feel good about your work on it. Yeah, you can feel good about the work you did on that, and I feel good about the work I did on that. I a nice yeah, thank you. Yeah, I loved. I mean, when I, I remember, you know, Damon Crawl said, you know, we're going to do this film, and the, you know, and your right right away, I thought, who would play my wife, Katie Kurtzman? I mean, because we had that connection, we have that, yeah. we had that feeling, you know, that that history together, so it added to it. Yes, definitely. Like that little um, scene where uh, the just you know that micro scene where it's my birthday. Yeah, yay! Oh look, here we go. Oh, Ooh. oh wow. nice. That is, that is, that is, how does it? How does it? What is it? What is it? it? <laughs> you know, oh, I see. No, it's a necklace. Like this. Wait a minute. It's a ghost. It's a like this. It's kind of wow. It's kind of magnetic, and you can do a lot yeah. of yeah. things with it. She showed me. She had. Seen you have, you have one of these? Yeah. I, I don't have one, but I've uh, I've seen one. Yeah, and it just like clicks. Yeah, that's See? oh wow. Oh, it wow. looks nice. Oh, oh dear. Oh, Wait a minute. Okay. She, she showed me. The one I saw stuck together. It's that. No, really. It's Say great. That. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Okay, this is. Don't thank great. you, baby. You're thank you, honey. Wow. Oh, thank you, baby. <laughs> okay, let's oh. get this in the right spot, though. Okay. Wait, oh, very more. nice. Wait, but wait. Yeah. It just the relationship between you and I and our the, our whole marriage was like in that little improv the whole thing yeah you know it was it worked really really well yeah. the inside jokes that I have with my family against you that you can't see you know this the, the whole dynamic of that little teeny scene and then how I could just reach up and be like oh sweetie well I'm like uh, uh, on the side you know it's like no wonder this guy <laughs> doing you know it's, it's, this is not a happy relationship clearly but yeah. it was very um it was very it was very marriage <laughs> oh my gosh well i've still got to experience that not doing marriage <laughs> not doing marriage love and marriage love and marriage well that was the theme for um for um, my old my old boyfriend, right? I'm keep talking. My old boyfriend, yeah. um, Michael Cooney, uh, um, who was my first real love. Yeah. Um, his father was Ray Cooney, who was um, a big deal on the West End of London. He was um, he did a lot of British farce, and uh, the theme music for every one of his plays was Love and Marriage when they would come in. Really. He did run Wife and move over Mrs. Markham and wife begins at 40 and um, lots of titles with wife in the, you know, lots of plays with wife in the title, you know, British Farsi stuff, but brilliant, really brilliant stuff. But anyway, every time I would hear um, Married with Children, I would think of Ray Cooney. Anyway, I've had an amazing life. You do. It, if, yeah. If, just, if there was a role now that you would love to play, what would it be? Um, I would like to be, um, uh, an aunt on, um, uh, uh Handmaid's Tale. <gasps> oh my God, you'd be great I would, be, in that I would like to be an aunt on Handmaid's Tale. I think I could be the scariest fucking aunt you ever <laughs> You'd be great in that. 
Yeah. Okay, hands mane's tail. She's here. She's right here. <laughs> and I'm scary. <laughs> That's right. In the credits, scariest fucking yeah. aunt. <laughs> uh huh. God, Elizabeth. What an amazing actress. Mm. She's just. She's just a star. She is. She has got some major talent. Well, I love you very much. I love you back. It's good to see you. You too. And um, we'll have to do this on the side sometime. Okay. And Elizabeth Moss, anytime. Anytime. <laughs> anytime. I'm there. And, and thank you again for all the times that you came to teach and meet the biz and performing arts. Oh, I miss it. I miss your babies. I miss all of that. Oh, you know. I miss, I miss teaching. Thank you. Oh, it's the fam. It's the fam. All right, hun. Thank you. Love you. Hey, love you. Love you more. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. That's from um, The Awakening Land. Yes, look at that. I'm These actually are... sitting on that, 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 that scene you were talking about was right there on that. And there's me with uh, Rick, Mickey Rooney. Oh, right. And then there's Darren McGavin and Mickey Rooney and, and me. And then we have, uh, then we have uh, um, Burl Ives. Ives. I mean, legends. More and more lives and uh, Sean Marshall and Sherry Wills and of course, Dynasty over here. Yeah. In a good time. I had a good time. I've had an amazing life. Yeah, you have. Amazing life. It's still amazing. It's just different. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta remember that. <laughs> I know it's different for me too, and I'm going. I, I, I think I'm not. Do I like this life right now? I'm going through that a little. You do a gratitude list, huh? You just do a gratitude list. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got yeah. Got to do a gratitude list. Whenever you get in the dumps, just do a gratitude list. It works wonders. <laughs>